Hello, everyone, and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. And before we dive into today's kiki, which is oh, today is not a good day for Erica Jane Girardi. It's not. So a judge orders a key witness in the investigation into her and her husband, Tom Girardi, to testify. And if the judge is ordering them, obviously, it's to testify against them. There's also more news that dropped that we'll get into in another video, but this video will be a good way to um, get the background info on it. So before we dive in, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. Check out the description box down below and shop the Love Collection. So with that, you guys, let's dive right on in. Okay, this is according to Radar Online. Exclusive. Judge orders key witness an investigation into Erica Jane's husband, Tom Girardi, to testify. A Los Angeles Superior Court judge has ordered a key witness in the state bar's investigation into Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Erica Jane's husband, Tom Girardi, to test about what to testify about what she knows radaronline.com has heard according to court documents obtained by radaronline.com the decision came down this week after lawyers of the state bar of california filed legal documents against the witness for refusing to appear and answer questions despite being served with a valid subpoena now Listen, a, a couple of things. Maybe this person is scared. Maybe they're scared of retaliation. You know, Tom Girardi might be in an elderly home, but I bet you he still has ties to the outside. You know what I mean? He's not in jail. And even people in jail still have ties to the outside. Maybe they're scared. Maybe they're scared that if they come forward, something's going to happen to them. Don't forget, Tom Girardi's alleged love child is a top FBI official. I mean, that's scary. I personally really respect our law enforcement and the FBI and, you know, our judicial system. But like any institution, any institution, religion, healthcare, you know, judicial system, there is corruption. And I would be scared, too, to come forward knowing that this person has, you know, connections with FBI agents, with judges, with all of that. And then maybe they're scared. Maybe they can plead the fifth, you know, if they're going to implement, like if they say something, maybe they're scared of incriminating themselves. Maybe they can get um, immunity. So there's a lot of reasons why this witness may not want to come forward. I bet it's fear, fear for what can happen to them, like retribution, fear for incriminating themselves, a lot of it. But this judge and these people weren't having it. They're like, no, you, you got to come, boo-boo, you got to come. All right, and it says this deposition is set to go down today, and this was on December 9th. Now, today, Erica Jane was deposed, and we'll do a video on that right after this one, okay? But let's keep going. As RaiderOnline.com first reported, the State Bar of California filed a petition demanding the witness appear and produce documents relevant to their investigation. Don't forget, it was also the California State Bar who came out and said, yeah, we really messed up. There were over 200 complaints against Tom Girardi, and they did nothing. Don't Also, don't forget, and this is really scary, literally up until April or June of this year, Tom Girardi was still legally allowed to practice law. How in the world is that appropriate? Ah, uh, thank you so much, Lit, for the super sticker. Thank you. I'll take that as my birthday gift. You know, this is my birthday week. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for the super sticker. I really appreciate it. Okay. Let's keep going. All right. Girardi and his law firm, and his law firm stand accused of embezzling money from his clients over the years. Many accused the once powerful lawyer of running his law firm like a Ponzi scheme. So basically, a Ponzi scheme is when you actually don't have 
a true product that you're selling or you're not actually making money. And what you're doing is, is you're robbing Peter to pay Paul. So I'm going to get this investor or I'm going to steal from this client in order to pay off this debt. But then you keep having to lie and steal and scheme because you can never actually catch up. You see what I'm saying? It's crazy. All right, let's keep going. Dun, 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 dun. Those who were stiffed on settlement money include orphans, widows, along with a fire burn victim. Jane has been accused of directly benefiting from the alleged embezzlement. She has denied all allegations of wrongdoing and said she had no knowledge of her husband's alleged misdeeds. Well, isn't that convenient? <laughs> isn't that convenient? Girl, I didn't know. I didn't know. You knew. You knew. That's why he was funneling the money into your um, EJ Global um, LLC. You know, it's like Sutton said, if the devil puts the money in your LLC, you're liable for it. So you can't say you didn't know, sweetheart. You can't say you didn't know. And then also on the show, you even talked about how you used to sit with Tom at the law firm. Just because you're a woman, just because you're blonde, doesn't mean you're stupid and you're uncapable and unknowing. Women are highly intelligent. You knew what your husband was up to, in my personal opinion. Okay, but let's keep going. Dun, 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 dun. As part of the court battle, the key witness identified herself as Girardi's former client, Sonja O'Haler. O-E-H-L-E-R. Okay, Oler, whatever, Sonja. Oler previously worked for the state bar as an administrative assistant before being terminated. In 2016, she hired Girardi to bring a case against the state bar for alleged falsification of disciplinary cases. She claimed the state bar was barred from deposing her due to terms of their settlement agreement. The state bar disagreed with her argument. So basically, she got Tom Girardi... This is some crazy stuff. She got Tom Girardi to go against the state bar saying that they were doing, you know, fraudulent, you know, cases when the whole time the state bar were the same exact association that was protecting Tom Girardi. So I'm going to go against the court, the company that's protecting me because they're being shady. You think they're being shady? You think? This is some crazy stuff. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Later today, Oler will have to reveal what she knows about Girardi. As RaiderOnline.com previously reported, state bar officials were questioned on how Girardi was allowed to continue his scheme for years, not years, decades. Decades. This man is in his early to mid 80s and he just got caught two years ago. Decades. Without any discipline. It was revealed it had overlooked hundreds of complaints filed against Girardi. That's the rub. So the State Bar Association enabled him to commit decades, decades of fraud. And yet he still goes after them because they are shady. You're damn right they're shady. They're letting you commit fraud. Tom Girardi is disgusting. He, he really, he will go after anybody for a buck. He will go after anybody for a buck. Mm -mm -mm. The handling of the Girardi matters brought to light serious failures in the state bar's attorney discipline system. Failures that have contributed to a lack of confidence in the state bar's ability to carry out our core responsibility of, of protecting the public. You think? Chairperson Ruben Duran wrote on behalf of the state bar board of trustees, you need to be fired. The board needs to be fired. They need to do a complete sweep. Everybody needs to go. Everybody needs to go. He added, he caused irreparable harm to hundreds of his clients and the state bar could have done more to protect the public. We can never allow something like this to happen again. That's why you need to be fired and everybody who worked with you needs to be fired. This is too much. Tom Girardi literally did, if not the mo the, the, the biggest one of the biggest criminal fraud cases in the state of California history. So for as long as California has been California, 
Tom Girardi did the most harm. That should tell you a lot. That should tell you a lot. As RaiderOnline.com previously reported, Jane was recently forced to hand over a pair of diamond earrings worth $1.4 million. The set was sold off at a public auction to collect money for Girardi's victims. Side note, don't forget about this situation. These are that same 750K earrings. First, they were 750K. Then Erica said, no, they are praised for 1.3, 1.4 million. Then the diamond earrings that she actually gave over were appraised for only $200,000 and it sold for only $250,000. And this was when Ronald Richards was like, Erica did a bait and switch. She switched the earrings. She said she was giving the 1.3, $1.4 million earrings over and she actually gave them a different pair of earrings and she kept the real earrings. Okay. In addition to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star is still facing a $25 million lawsuit filed by the trustee presiding, presiding over the law firm's bankruptcy. We're going to do a video on that right after this, okay? Because we have news on that one. The suit demands she return millions of her husband's firm spent to pay her company EJ Global's bills. Jane has demanded the suit be tossed. Well, that didn't work out because it's not tossed, okay? It's not. And I'm about to do a video on that. But I want to know what you guys think. What do you guys think about this? I think it's heating up. I think it's heating up. I think the fact that um, they are forcing this witness to testify against Tom and Erica is huge. I think the fact that they finally arrested Tom's CFO um, for his wire fraud trans transfer for $10 million, they said that was nothing, that Really, the guy did about a hundred million dollars in fraud, and the ten million was just like icing on the cake. I think it's be re very telling that they also made that guy Donald Alway, who is allegedly Tom's love child, and the house he was living in with his mother was paid for by Tom Girardi. Remember, she it was his secretary and his mistress. They were having a sexual relationship for years, and then when she left the firm he gave her hundreds of thousands of dollars and paid for her house. Okay. I think it's good that that came to light and he was forced to recuse himself. I think it's the, I think the house is burning down for Erica. The house is burning down, but I want to know what you guys think. Put it down in the comment box below, but before you do that, you know what to do and hang on my candy canes. I want to get to your candy cane questions, comments. I'm going to do a quick outro. You know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a kiki is always out of the community. Check out our description box down below and shop our love collection. So with that, 